Next, I'd like to take a look at the process modeling new feature in Smart PLS 4. Let's go back to our workspace and you see we have options for PLS SEM, regression, and process. Click on process. I'm just going to name this, let's see, process YouTube and select the data set you want. I would like this data set and then drag out your final dependent variable. It can be a latent variable score or manifest variable, or it can be a latent factor. So I'm going to make mine a latent factor. Drag that out here, call that burnout. And then let's drag out some predictors. These can also be individual items or latent factors. Let's see, let's do management and fairness. And we can also add control variables. These are variables we'd like to control for their effects, but they're not theoretically of interest to us. So for control, I'm going to use ethical concerns. Pull that in. Notice what happens here. Ethical concerns. Because I had control variables selected when I pulled them out, it turned them gray, and as soon as I entered a name for it, it automatically added regression lines to all endogenous variables. Very cool. Also notice in this process-based model, there are no arrows, so we're not implying formative or reflective measurement. They are all just connected and will be turned into composites, I believe. Now we can also add moderation in here. If I go to connect, I can say that management unfairness moderates the indirect effect of resource demand gap on burnout management. Now, I should probably remove this direct effect here just to make it consistent. Now, there's only one indirect effect there for us to moderate. So we could have moderated mediation. We can, if we'd like, also add a quadratic effect. So you can see we can get pretty complicated with this process model. I think that's probably complicated enough. Let me go ahead and calculate. You can do a regular path analysis or bootstrapping. We'll do one of each. For the path analysis, I'm just going to use the defaults and consider control variables in the calculation. Start. And let me move some stuff around real quick. And what we see here is what we would normally see. Let me zoom in. These are just the path coefficients. Let me move all this over a little bit. And move that over. There we go. And if we want, we can show relative strength of prediction. Let me move that over. There we go. So just like a regular old path model or structural equation model, but in the report, we can see all sorts of interesting stuff. First off, it does produce a simple slope analysis for our interaction. It does produce specific indirect effects for our mediation. It also produces conditional direct effects. That's our moderation and conditional indirect effects. That's our moderated mediation. That's pretty cool. And then the usual things like R square, F square, and Cronbox alpha, as well as VIFs for multicollinearity. Apparently we have some issues. <laughs> Let's go ahead and run that bootstrap. This will produce p-values for us. It also includes the option for bias corrected confidence intervals, which we will choose. Start calculation. And now instead of t-values, I can switch this over to path coefficients and p-values. And once again, highlight the stronger paths. In the output, we can look at all the same stuff, but now it all has p-values. One thing I forgot to show you previously was the control variables. Here are the effects from the control variables. We can look at total effects, again, including the p-value and everything we just saw before, but this time with confidence intervals and p-values. And that is your process modeling. That's pretty cool, very powerful. I guess maybe I should interpret one of these conditional indirect effects. Let's see. Conditional, indirect, here we have it. This says that at the mean, right here, of the moderating of management unfairness, the mediated effect from resource demand gap through unsupportive boss to burnout is statistically significant. We can look at those p-values and those confidence intervals bias corrected if we like. Notice that for the mean, the lower and upper confidence intervals do not span zero, and therefore there might be something going on. There might be 
moderated mediation. Cool.